I hope that I'm making a difference in a positive way. I have a, a pretty, you know, a uh, hard time with imposter syndrome. I mean, it's kind of hard to be uh, uh, super uh, passionate and have a lot of conviction and also be really humble. Like I, I battle sometimes with, you know, this idea of like, why would I get on stage uh, and try to tell somebody else what their life should be like, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. But then I, I go, well, I mean, I have really good intentions. Like, I don't think I'm all knowing. I don't think my, my uh, opinion matters more than anybody else. But for some reason I have a calling to stand on a stage and tell people from the bottom of my heart how awesome I think they are, which a lot of people are scared to do, you know? Yeah. Um, so there's a, you know, there's a part of it to where, um, you know, it, it's, it's about being vulnerable, man. The only way you grow mm -hmm. is by being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And to me, yeah. stepping on stage and feeling like I have this thing in my, in my heart, my soul that I uh, want to give back to teachers. Uh, and I try to do it in a, in a grateful way. Cause, uh, I mean, I don't know what it's like. I mean, I only know what it's like from uh, having long conversations with people and asking them, you know, a lot of questions and everything. But I teach myself, but it's not on a day to day basis. You know, um, mm -hmm. I teach at a university uh, four times a semester, you know, uh, and I enjoy doing it. And at one point in my life, I was a private teacher for for uh, music. You know, I had 40 students and, uh, you know, I sat down there with them privately you know, for 30 minutes to an hour every single week. And I did that for eight years. I mean, I was a private music instructor for a long time. That was my main gig, you know, before I started touring. But long story to, you know, kind of in this part of the conversation is that, you know, it's like uh, the idea of being vulnerable, the idea of getting up there and kind of, sh you know, uh, shedding my skin and sharing my heart, you know, and, uh, and all of that. And, uh, but, I, but obviously not trying to act like I know more than anyone else. All I know sure. is that, uh, every once in a while you forget. And the analogy that I use, like, and you guys will re remember it was the power of music. You know, uh, you, the power of music is just, it's really hard for any human to escape how powerful music is. I mean, it can literally make you transport time and space and remember people who aren't even alive anymore, you know? Yeah. Um, and so I use that analogy of I forget how powerful music is because I do it so much. I've been doing it for mm -hmm. so long to where it takes somebody reminding me. Somebody will send me a Facebook message and say, hey, man, we got married to your song last night. And you're like, whoa, like <laughs> one of the best moments in your entire life. You chose, you know, the music that we create to be a part of that. That's amazing. Right you know, yeah. and yeah. uh and, and then I'm like, I step back and I realize like how powerful music is. But the same thing I think happens with teachers from, you know, from all the conversations I had, you just, you do it day in, day out. And you kind of forget that like, man, you're changing lives every second that you're in front of those kids, you know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So that's why, you know, it kind of to put a bow on it. That's the, sure. the whole concept behind the keynote speaking um, yeah. and the, the mission that I'm on right now, which is connecting to your calling, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, and you know what, what's awesome is PACT is founded on four pillars, connect, develop, lead, advocate. And that's exactly what you're, you are just weaving yeah. right through that list. I mean, in everything you do, like when you're talking about the stories that you're sharing, the connections, you're developing those connections in that concept of talking with them and leading. Because honestly, like when you think, oh, <laughs> that's Hillary. awesome. We love Hillary. There Free is a great awesome. song. <laughs> and, uh, and she's an awesome person. You guys would gel very well. She's very cool. And um, but in, in everything you do with that leading, that advocating, and, and the other powerful thing is, teachers are so self-critical, and the fact that you're up there just you know pumping them up as you did, just even in that like, mm -hmm. like no lie, that pregame talk when we were talking before the show, like just just in the words that you're saying, and it's as humble and as honest and as true. It's just yeah. coming out. It's it's not a facade. Like you're just you're being you, and it's awesome because there's so many teachers that need that because. We're just continually beating ourselves up with stuff like, you know, I was talking to a, a colleague the other day and they're like, well, I don't really, you know, I, I, I said, wow, that activity is awesome. Can I get a copy of it? Oh, well, I never really shared it because I, I wouldn't even think it was that good. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's like better than what I was doing next door. Like, come on now, you know, Yeah. But we just, yeah. that's our mentality sometimes, you know, so we need that voice. Yeah. That's one thing that's interesting, man, that you say that um, as far as the music community, um, the music community is 
is all always been uh pretty full of uh like boosting people up you know like because it's really easy as a musician to watch somebody else play who's really good and just be like god i wish i could do that because everybody's mm -hmm. so different from each other you know Mm -hmm. Um, and so it's a big part of like, you know, uh, watching your friend play saxophone or something like that. And then afterwards, when the show's over, do you like, dude, you kill it. Oh my God, you sound so good, man. <laughs> you know, so there's a lot of that kind of sharing, um, uh, at least in the, in the, you know, the community that I've been a part of. Um, and so, awesome. you know, it's interesting that teachers don't really do that, you know, as much like, one of the things that you, when you meet a musician, you're like, what's up, man? And they're like, yeah, dude, I, uh, I grew up in Detroit.